The Negroes Complained by William Coper, read for LibriVox.org by Mickey Lee Rich. Forced from home and all its pleasures, Afric's coast I left forlorn to increase a stranger's treasures over the raging billows borne. Men from England bought and sold me, paid my price in paltry gold. But though slave they have enrolled me, mines are never to be sold. Still in thought as free as ever, what are England's rights, I ask? Me from my delights to sever? Me to torture? Me to task? Fleecy locks and black complexion cannot forfeit nature's claim. Skins may differ, but affection dwells in white and black the same. Why did all creating nature make the plant for which we toil? Sighs must fan it, tears must water, sweat of ours must dress the soil. Think, ye masters iron-hearted, lolling at your jovial boards. Think how many blacks have smarted for the sweets your cane affords. Is there, as ye sometimes tell us, is there one who reigns on high? Has he bid you buy and sell us, speaking from his throne, the sky? Ask him if your knotted scourges, matches, blood-extorting screws are the means that duty urges agents of his will to use. Hark! He answers wild tornadoes, strewing yonder sea with wrecks, wasting towns, plantations, meadows are the voice with which he speaks. He, foreseeing what vexations Afric's son should undergo, fixed their tyrant's habitations where his whirlwinds answer no. By our blood in Afric wasted, ere our necks received the chain, by the miseries that we tasted crossing in your barks the main, by our suffering since ye brought us to the man-degrading mart, all sustained by patience, taught us only by a broken heart. Deem our nation brutes no longer, till some reason ye shall find, worthier of regard and stronger than the color of our kind. Slaves of gold, whose sordid dealings tarnish all your boasted powers, prove that you have human feelings, ere you proudly question ours. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.